everyone and welcome back. I would like to just speak on the subject of worship. You see, so often we limit worship to a Sunday morning. Our concept of worship is singing. Standing in the presence of God with surrounded by people and hands raised and we're singing worship songs to God. And yes, that is worship. That is a part of our worship. But God is looking for something that's much, much deeper. Our lives and the way we live should be an expression of worship to God. That everything we do, everything we say, everything that we're involved in should have an atmosphere, should have a fragrance of worship to God. It should be a living testimony. See, Jesus said in John chapter 4, verse 23, speaking to the woman at the well, he says, The hour comes and now is when true worshippers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father is seeking such to worship Him. God is a spirit, and they worship Him, must worship Him in spirit and in truth. So it's not just singing, but there's an attitude of our hearts it's truth. It's the way we're living. We can't just live our lives from Monday to Sunday the way we want and come together on Sunday morning, raise our hands and sing songs and think that we please God. That's very carnal, very shallow. We need to come to the place that each and every day we are worshipping Him. See, we read in the book of Isaiah 29 where God chastised the people and He says, you come to me. And you worship me, but your hearts are far from me. He was, they were coming on their days of festival. They were coming and, and, and doing all the right religious things. But God saw through all of that. And he saw the state of their hearts. So that's what God is wanting to speak to us today. Worship. To be a real worshiper in spirit and truth is to have this heart that whatever I do, whatever I'm involved in, the way I speak, the way I behave, the way I conduct my daily life is worship to the Father. It's giving glory and honor to Him. It is a fragrance that emanates from me in my daily life to the Lord. And that's the worship that God is looking for. So we all have a long way to go. But let's see, but let's keep things in perspective. And let's set our hearts to be men and women of worship, true worship, spiritual worship. That's what God is looking for. May the Lord help us. God bless.